Thank you, and I appreciate the opportunity to reflect and discuss a little bit on a topic that we have become all too familiar with, given that we all have spent far too much time on Zoom and its cousins over the past year and a half or so, and we'll probably continue to do so, at least uh, in some parts. So I'm hoping that th this uh, little talk will stimulate some discussion and thought, because if you think of a multimedia community, certainly one of the most visible consumer-facing accomplishments that collectively the community I can be proud of is indeed the ability to bring people together by video, among others, and audio, certainly, and other modalities in that. Uh, that's certainly been one of probably the most successful contributions that computer science has made, or among particularly uh, the more applied part of computer science have made to uh, the pandemic uh, recovery and just coping with it, given that other things like you know, tracing applications and so on, I would have gotten a lot more attention in some sense, probably turned out to be less relevant than humble video conferencing uh, turned out to be uh, for just simply keeping on going. So, when we look at video conferencing, what has happened is what has happened in other areas of practical computer science, namely that a very small number of systems, typically less than a handful, often three or four, tend to dominate uh, a particular field. We think of cloud service providers. We got three cloud service providers, basically, or four maybe uh, in that. I would think of providers of CDN services, more at the infrastructure level. I think of cellular networks in each country. Usually that number tends to converge to around three or four. And that really has happened in the video conferencing land very quickly in the last few years where uh, you see that essentially, uh, regardless of where you are, I uh, mind services provided by three large companies, namely Zoom, Microsoft, and Google, I have completely dominated the field. And both for consumers and for enterprise, which is somewhat unusual given that these are often separate markets, but that's convergence has been happening elsewhere, separate discussion.